Good morning. It's uh, Friday, uh, December 2nd. Our top story today is an editorial about a looming fisheries crisis uh, we see coming in 2012. Uh, what's happened is that the U.S. Uh, fisheries management system depends on a series of stock assessments. And in the past, these stock assessments have been more predictable from year to year. What we've seen in the last few months, though, has been a failure of many of these stock assessments and some wildly fluctuating numbers. So for example, uh, Gulf of Maine cod, which uh, was thought to be very healthy uh, a couple of years ago, uh, the latest stock assessment says is in, in very serious trouble. The Pacific Halibut Commission, uh, one of the most respected uh, fish management bodies in the world, uh, been in business since the 1920s, uh, just recently said to, uh, yesterday that their estimates of halibut stock biomass may have been off by uh, spawning stock biomass may have been off by 50% over the last five years. And they again proposed a drastic reduction of about 20% uh, in Alaska halibut uh, catches for this coming year with possibly more reductions to follow. Uh, another example, uh, the Alaska Pollock fishery where the ground fish uh, plan team uh, uh, saw an assessment that recommended uh, a very unexpected 14% cut in the allowable biological catch, again due to the fact that the fish, uh, the pollock stocks are not behaving uh, as uh, the model had thought they would in prior assessments. Uh, what's going on here? We seem to be seeing uh, some sort of failure in the fisheries management stock assessment model, and this has real serious business implications uh, for the seafood industry. We're going to have major crisis this year already over Gulf of Maine cod and over Pacific halibut. Um, but I also think that uh, the larger picture is that something's changing in the ocean that's making the stock models that we rely on unreliable. Uh, that is likely to be global warming and changing water temperatures. Uh, research uh, done uh, off the coast of Newfoundland uh, last winter showed temperatures in the Hawk Channel between Labrador and Greenland uh, of five degrees uh, Celsius, which is almost unheard of. Uh, we've also seen big changes in the distribution of Alaska Pollock in the Bering Sea, with the fisheries uh, moving, fish concentrations moving farther and farther away from their traditional grounds uh, near Dutch Harbor. Uh, all of this is likely caused by changes in water temperature which then change the availability of plankton, the timing of the blooms, uh, the availability of feed for stock recruits, and the whole system uh, starts uh, fluctuating in ways that we have not seen before. Uh, this is a huge problem, and I think in our editorial, as we said, that a lot of the battles that are going on right now over inflexibility in Magnuson and rebuilding uh, requirements may be fighting the last war. And what we need to look forward to is a way to make our stock models work again. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not very optimistic. Uh, at a time when we need more resources poured into uh, fisheries that have long been studied, like cod and pollock and, and halibut, uh, we're in a climate where less resources are available. Um, it's not clear to me that the political will to address uh, the changing uh, climate of uh, uh, fishery science is going to be there, in which case the industry is going to be left uh, in a very untenable position. In Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton.